guys, welcome back, Be Distinct fam, to another episode on the Be Distinct headquarters. If you guys don't know me, I got a supercharged G35, but also quick announcement, if you guys don't know already, me and the supercharged G35, we will be traveling for the first time and probably the last time, I do not know because it's a long trip. Me and the supercharged G35 will be traveling to Southern California. We will be going to Fuel Fest on June 4th, invited by Fitment Industries themselves. So if you guys are from SoCal, you guys wanna meet up, do a little me and greet, do a little cruise or something down in SoCal, I am 100% down. We need to make this happen because I don't know when I'm gonna be down there again. And that way we can take advantage. You guys can go ahead and take a look at the G. Man, dude, that would be a sick. So with that being said, long story short, June 4th, Fuel Fest. I'll be in Los Angeles area from June 2nd to June 5th. So if you guys want to do anything, any events, let me know. I'll try to make it happen. But in today's episode, we are going to be fixing another part that broke again. If you haven't been following the channel in the last episode, in the last episode, we went ahead and installed the resonator on the Supercharger E35. It sounds fabulous. And I actually want to go outside and drive it again because it actually sounds really, really good. It eliminated the drone. If you want some clips of that, go check out the past video. But... While I was going out, my freaking window motor regulator went out again, bro. It went out on the driver's seat. I replaced it. It's good. Now on the passenger, bro. Can you believe it? So now we got to replace it a second time. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible so you guys can go ahead and learn. So when your G35 has a faulty motor, you know how to replace it because you watched this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get started and open up the box. By the way, if you guys need any LEDs, any LEDs for any car, make sure to check out the link in the description. We got a code for 10% off at the Lost Fit Shop. So if you guys need the brightest of all LEDs, go ahead and check that link down below. But without further ado, we went ahead and ordered this off Amazon. This thing came in about two days. If you have Amazon Prime, I always have Amazon Prime because Amazon Prime is the best. But in here, we should have this. Ha <laughs> ha. A brand new window motor. All right, guys, so you guys know, first thing we got to do in order to replace this window motor, which is located in this area, is you got to take off your door panel. Now, you guys are going to hate me. You guys might be jealous. I don't know. I don't know. But my door panel literally just slides off. Like, like I can just, like... Bruh. <laughs> Okay, so you guys might be jealous, but my when my my door panel literally just it like it like Come on here, let me show you a couple things here. So this is what your door panel looks like. Mine has a couple of junk here. This is for like my alarm system and whatnot. What we're gonna wanna do is pretty much take out this whole black panel here, which is like all these screws around here. Now this is where the tricky part is. Once you remove all the screws, I kid you not, we remove every single screw. Everything you see, except the window motor, the, the, the Illuminati triangle I mentioned to you, leave those till the end. This thing will be stuck on there. This black panel you see here, just kind of yanking on it a little bit. So there the window motor fell. Right. Grab this right here. We're gonna go ahead and remove this panel. The window motor is attached to the panel, but it's also attached to, you can see right here, this is the window motor itself. And this is attached to this black, uh, this bracket right here. And this bracket is held on by three Phillips screws. Oh no. Okay, it's stripping. So let's grab the right one. Holy crap, this is scary. All right guys, so luckily I found out, I found, I was able to find the freaking, I was able to find a bit that fits exactly to this freaking bolt. So hopefully it shouldn't strip. I got scared, man. I hit it, so there you go. Dude, I got so scared. Thank God this thing came out. Put in the keys. Oh, put it in accessory mode. Do not turn on the vehicle. What we want to do is connect the window motor, right? Let's go ahead and roll this up. Doesn't work. Okay, so it's all the way down. This is putting the window all the way down. 
Damn, that's long. Whatever the case is, let's go ahead and roll it back up to where it was at. <laughs> okay, damn, this thing seems to have unlimited life. So we're gonna go ahead and roll it all the way up since our window's up. Unless this doesn't stop either. Pretty much now, we're just gonna go ahead and put everything back together how it was. This is take one of the window motor replacement repair. Hopefully it works. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bro, are you kidding me? I'm a freaking beast, bro. I'm a genius. Bro, get on my level. All right, guys, one last final test. Three, two, one. Nice. Probably think we're done, but we got to make sure that when we close this, the window goes up. That's the final confirmation. Boom! Let's go! Great success! Now that we had a very, very successful repair, let's go see what my girlfriend thinks because this actually ended up failing on her and she couldn't put her window up and we couldn't even lock the car and we tried to figure it out. We couldn't even go to get Boba and it was just this whole big deal. So hopefully she'll be as happy as I am. So let's go. Drive it to her, see what she thinks. Bro, tell me I'm not the best at parking, bro. Look at this. Sheesh. My car don't fit though, so. Pull up your window, check it out. Give me your first reaction, even though it's already down. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, okay, you can roll it down, you can roll it down, all right. Ha, ha, ha.